Yes. Yes. I am currently in my bed right now and I don't care. I'm 31, 32 weeks pregnant and I feel like, you know the marshmallow man that's in Ghostbusters and he like, that guy, that's how I feel. No, it can't be. What is it? It can't be. What did you do, Ray? Oh, shit. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. My symptoms right now, I am still out of breath. Um, I have really bad cravings. My thing right now is peanut butter toast. I am obsessed. I have so much movement. He's not like just kicking me anymore. He's like moving. And it's creeping me out because I really hope he doesn't like change positions. I hope his head's still down. TMI for you, very gassy. <laughs> I mean. I'm hot all the time. I'm sweating. Like I could have the AC on at work. Um, my window's wide open below 20 degree weather outside. Like that's how hot I am all the time. My hair is growing really fast. My nails are growing super fast. My boobs just saggy and not pretty at all right now. Like the milk is just pumping on in. It can definitely tell they're getting bigger. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. And also my TMI again, my nipples are super swollen. Like they're big, they're definitely large. And, um, <laughs> and they're darker. So a lot of like what I had in the first trimester is coming back into the third trimester, which is normal. So the baby is the size of a coconut. Uh, he's around three to four pounds and is 16 inches long. I have nine weeks to go. The baby, uh, its brain connections are developing at a rapid pace. Your baby is drowsy, putting longer stretches for snooze time, especially REM sleep, which is weird. So like now that the baby can have REM sleep, I've been having really deep, deep sleeps, which is crazy because you would think I can't sleep because I'm larger and I have been having restless leg syndrome. And so like that goes along with my symptoms, like really bad restless leg, really bad sciatic nerve issues, but my dreams have been so vivid and I'm blaming this child because now he can have REM sleep, so <laughs> he's dreaming. Brainy baby can also process information and pick up signals from all five senses, super cool. I am definitely getting a spray tan. I'm getting my nails done, my hair done, and my lashes done before like my due date, like probably like a week before my due date, I don't care. Call me crazy, call me a horrible person and call me that mom, but I, I don't know about the spray tan. Maybe that's kind of out there, because if I sweat, it's definitely gonna come off, and I don't know how they're gonna feel about putting baby on my chest with the spray tan, so no, cancel the spray tan. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't spray tan my child. But everything else, I'm definitely getting done. So I did it last time, and the pictures came out boss. So people are like, oh my God, how do you look so pretty giving birth? And I'm like, I didn't ask for my bronzer before I pushed. Nope, didn't happen. So I'm really excited. I already have his clothes picked out for take home. I have the hospital bag packed. Side note, I haven't had a baby shower yet and it's out of my control. It's my mom and Ryan's mom who are figuring it all out and I hate not being in control of things. So it's really stressing me out. They haven't given me exact date yet. So I'm just like, guys, like I'm literally nine weeks away from pumping this kid out. Like we need to get this baby shower going here. Also question, leave it in the comments. Is it weird for the father of the child to go to the baby shower? Like I don't understand what the big deal is. Ryan's like, it's supposed to be a girl thing. I'm like, yeah, but you can definitely do Jack and Jill. So it's a big deal. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I am just like ready. I've been watching so many birthing videos. I am definitely getting an epidural. I was thinking about natural, but I was like, no, epidural. Cause my, I'm, I feel like this time I'm gonna have um, back labor because of how bad my back has been hurting. And I'm definitely going to, going to a chiropractor before I give birth. I just want to feel every bone crack because I've been watching those videos too. Wait, hold on. I cannot believe I'm forgetting to say this. I do not have gestational diabetes. I don't. I did the three hour sugar test this time. It was miserable. You have to fast overnight and you can't drink or eat anything for like five hours. And they take your blood like three times, but I took mine four because I need to take your blood before they even 
get you into the testing because they want to see what your blood level or blood sugar is like after fasting. So I have a funny story though because I had two different nurses and one that was super gentle with the needle and the other one that was just like not she wasn't paying attention, she didn't really care. She gives me the biggest bruise, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. And she got me like three different times, and I was like, oh. Before I go, I really want to talk about the, the baby shower gifts I really badly want, like the top three. Um, one is the Snoo, super ridiculous. Everyone's gonna hate on me because it's like a $1,200 purchase, but I'm gonna rent it for five months and that will cost about $500. And people are like, oh, well, you have to understand, like, like you're gonna spend $500 on something that you're never gonna use again. And it's like, yeah, that's every single thing that you get for your kid. Think about it. You never reuse your baby stuff unless you're having more kids, which I'm not. So, or at least not anytime soon. So this new renting it is the best thing to do. Um, also, people are like, well, it swivels and there's white noise, how are you gonna, transition from the snoo to a regular crib and there are ways to do it it's on their website and people do it people swear by it and i'm not paying for it my parents are paying for it grandparents so why not like i need my sanity your girl is going on her meds right after this baby comes out and i have no shame in my game for my depression and anxiety but I do not want to go through postpartum depression and anxiety all over again without medication and a baby that doesn't sleep. Sorry, not sorry. Um, and there'll be a toddler or a child running around along with this, this baby. So it's just too much. So the snoo is my number one item I'm definitely getting. Um, two is the Mama Roo. Um, it's another thing that you put your kid in and they move around. But I am just obsessed with it because it's perfect for if I need to cook, if I need to clean, if I need to do anything, I can just put him in the Mamaru and he will be happy. I did have the like the boppies and they work perfectly. I, I swear by them too, I have no issue with them. But sometimes the baby does get antsy and they wanna be moving around or held or coddled. So the Mamaru will definitely help. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, you should just be a mom and, you know, cuddle with your child and, you know, be there for them and not have all these instruments. And I get it. But moms also get that it's not easy doing it by yourself. I mean, not that I will be completely by myself. I have Ryan, but he'll be at work at some at some points. So this is why y'all get nannies. I got a mamaroo while well, y'all got your nannies, okay? And if you don't have either or the boppy, you got the boppy, okay? You got the lounger. So, shippa da ba. And number three on my must have list is. I forgot. <laughs> I literally forgot. I don't know. I was gonna get the dock tot if y'all were gonna say that. I was gonna get the dock tot but. I said I might as well get the snoo instead of the dock top because people let their kids sleep in the dock top when you're not supposed to. And at least the snoo is safer. And I know it's an expensive thing, but so is in the dock top. The dock top, dock top's like $200, $300. Why would I do that when it's not supposed to be slept in, okay? And it doesn't rock back and forth. When, and it's not a bassinet when I could have an actual bassinet that moves around, makes noises, does everything. Because then also you need a noise machine sometimes. So like that's on top of the dock -a tot Listen, I've done my math. I'm figuring it out. If I could have the dock -a tot and the snoo, I'd be swimming in like gold right about now. But I don't have that kind of money. So that is my 31, 32 week pregnancy vlog for you. You have any questions, any comments, comment below, duh. Please subscribe to my channel, like. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. I know that sounds like a lot. So tell your friends, tell your mommy friends. All right, it's getting late and before my neighbors call the police on me for talking so loud in my room, I gotta go. Okay, bye.